not the best view out of my window, but like the other side of the hotel. It's amazing. That's where I got the drone footage from yesterday. Got some really cool drone footage yesterday. And uh, today's competition day, so I'm probably not gonna do any editing. Kinda keep my mind set. Do wanna throw far, make no mistake. But, um, let me explain my approach to competitions. So I, I do love to compete. Uh, I really do, I care about it, I train hard, stay focused, and like, make no mistake, I am a competitor. I am absolutely at my best when it's on the line and I've got to throw far. And this is this is the world championship. There's pretty good money on the line. Like first place is 4,500 bucks, second place is three grand, and then it goes down from there. I don't remember how much. I know last place is still a thousand dollars. So it's a good weekend. Um, but the title of winning, right? That personally doesn't do a lot for me. Being the world champion. Look, I'm really stoked that I have one and no doubt it helps a lot with some credibility and being able to grow a business and have a channel that people want to listen to. But my personal mindset on it is why I compete is because I want to see how I stack up and how I can test myself when the time comes. And that having confidence in myself to know that I can get it done when it matters, that's what this is all about for me. So, like, if I go out this weekend and I throw well, if I throw really well, if I throw right at the edge of where I think I'm capable right now, and I take second or third or fourth, because other guys just better than me right now, that's fine. I've never, how, how anyone else does doesn't have anything to do with me, and it really doesn't affect the input, I, you know, how, how hard I'm gonna work. But if I was to go out and throw poorly, that sucks. You know, not getting it done when it counts. I mean, that's why I'm here. I'm here to throw far. I'm here to throw well. And I gotta throw well across eight events. That's what really matters. But it's a strong crowd. Um, I'm excited to compete. So today's a little different. So that's kind of how I feel about competing. Um, I know some other people, you know, take it a little bit more seriously and dial in a bit more and they don't enjoy themselves, but it doesn't seem to make that big a difference for me whether I was to sit in my hotel room and spend all day kind of gearing up for it or stay a little looser, I compete better that way. And that's me. And part of it is, I mean, learn what works for you. I'm better if I'm in a good mood. I'm better if I'm happy. I'm better if I'm relaxed. So. I've had breakfast, steak and eggs, nice, here at the hotel diner. Not a lot of options here in Palmer, Alaska. A lot of coffee, and um, I got a couple hours now, I guess, so I'm gonna dump some footage from yesterday, chill in bed, stay kinda loose, so stay warm, and I'm gonna run the TENS unit on my knee for a little bit. That's really what I got going on. That's how I'm gonna get loose, and then uh, I guess next time we head out, see you guys at the field. Really stoked that we have what looks like a beautiful day today. Also, there's no nighttime here. So that's fun, right? So it's, it doesn't look like this all day, but like from midnight till three, it's kind of like dusk, but it's definitely bright. Like you have a shadow on the ground 24 hours a day. Whew. All right, time to get right. already busted the stone. Luckily, we have a pro stone tech here. You know, at a time like this, you just spit on it, <laughs> shit on it, throw it back together. Oh, home run, ladies and gentlemen. They've already broke our Braemar. <laughs> nice. Kaz over there mushing it back together. 
It's like they're gonna uh, ratchet strap it together. That's what needs to be done. You gotta crank down on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I figured Bill would just press it with his hand. He tried. <laughs> well, like, Damn it, Kim. What would you say is the secret to being jacked and throwing far? What is that? Little friend. Oh my god. Little friend of mine. Oh my god. <laughs> Damn it, Kim loves a cream pie. Sucker for cream pie. <laughs> <laughs> Got him! <laughs>that start open stone that's our first one big 17 six ugly fucker so i uh, please then it's time to party almost feel good knee felt jank for a minute competition the block has underway. fully kicked in the first event is going we're to on be it 17 pound open stone 17 it's six in all the four disciplines i feel amazing a simple Perfect. stone america last place is america he would never get last all right stone bun. let's party just a heads up as well. Footage today may not be the best coverage. Uh, don't mind working at some other games, playing with the drone, doing some stuff like that, but gonna be pretty dialed in today. I'll try to give some commentary as best. It is a world championship and I want to throw far, so I don't want to think about the camera. Hope you guys appreciate that. Check Vlad got the win. Kid's got a hell of a punch out there at 57 with like a step move. That boy young and strong. Now heavyweight for distance. Looks like that. Usually a good event for me. Hopefully I don't shit the bed. Alright, let's get some throws. Alright. On to heavyweight. Get, some, get in the pit, start some shit. Got a sweet six. Nathan jumped up a spot. It's super helpful. <laughs> Thanks, Nate. Yeah. Nate brand goods back there. Uh, so that didn't help. Caber now, big ugly fucker. <laughs> and um, 
overall is Danny Mackham with eight. Matty Ice has got nine, and I'm sitting at the 10 spot. So, top three, North America. Move on to the camera. The camera's a big nasty fucker. 20 foot change, 130 pounds. Should be interesting. Ground is really hard. He's the cable against the shoulder, finger hit the rope. Until he walks his way down the cable, once it's a bit sexy it into the ball, he's going to squeeze with the palm of the hands. Flag it up, gets a balance, and gets a run! Going to double by the national speed, he's going to stop, quick drive up the legs and back. Unfortunately, we have switch sticks to a shorter one that a bunch of us are going to turn. Boo. basically in the books probably sitting in second overall after that caber got me stupid pivot at the end now we're gonna throw some fish over a bar beat that all right time for food heading over to the beer tent time to get right I want to say special thanks to uh, the dudes at uh, 49th or yeah 49th supply company really really rad stuff they really dig you guys stuff. Maybe we can do a collaboration at some point. Anyway, check their stuff out. I'll put a link below. Um, fries, the fries. Like if you order their appetizer for fries, it can probably feed you. But um, for normal people, it feeds like, it doesn't. like yeah. I think she just called me fat. So I got that going for me at the end of the day. Kick him wise down, really sitting in second place and just <laughs> call him fat. Palmer Ale House though, that sounds like a party. <laughs> <laughs>